Unpacking, pressed for time, a deep dive into everyday English. Hello, everyone, welcome back to our channel, where we make English learning easy and fun. Today, we're exploring a very common phrase that you might hear in everyday conversations. Pressed for time. Stick around as we break down what it means, how to use it, and share some examples to help you master this expression. Let's dive in. The phrase, pressed for time, is an idiomatic expression used to convey that someone is in a hurry or does not have enough time to do something. It's like saying you're under a tight schedule and you're racing against the clock. This phrase vividly paints the picture of time pressing down on you, leaving little room to breathe or delay. While the exact origins of pressed for time are a bit murky, it reflects the universal experience of feeling hurried or overwhelmed by a lack of time. This expression has been woven into the fabric of English-speaking cultures for generations, symbolizing the common struggle with managing time effectively. To use pressed for time correctly, it's important to understand its context. It's typically used to explain why you can't do something, why you need to hurry, or to apologize for rushing. Here are a few examples. I can't chat right now, I'm pressed for time and need to finish this report. We were pressed for time, so we had to skip breakfast this morning. Sorry for the brief meeting. We're all pressed for time today. Understanding synonyms and related phrases can enrich your vocabulary and help you better express the concept of being in a hurry. Some synonyms include rushed, in a hurry, running late, short on time, under a time crunch. Each of these expressions can be used in similar contexts but may carry slightly different nuances. Let's practice with a quick exercise. Try to create your own sentences using, pressed for time. Think about a situation where you had a lot to do but not enough time to do it. How would you explain that using this phrase? This practice will help cement your understanding and make you more comfortable using it in real life situations. And that wraps up our exploration of, pressed for time. We hope this video has shed some light on how to use this expression effectively in your daily conversations. Remember, mastering a language is all about understanding the nuances of its phrases and expressions. Don't hesitate to rewind and review this video if you need to, and practice using, pressed for time, in your own sentences. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in our next video.